कावेरी गोपाल कृष्णन इट्स प्रथम बुक्स स्टोरी वीवर पब्लिकेशन पुट्टा एंड पुट्टी जम्प्ड आउट ऑफ बेड इट वॉज मुत्ताजीज बर्थडे एंड दे हैड अ ट्रेन टू कैच मुत्ताजी हु वॉज द ट्वेन्स मदर्स मदर्स मदर दैट इज ग्रेट ग्रैंड मदर लिव्ड इन मैसूर विथ अज्जी हु वॉज द ट्वेन्स मदर्स मदर No one actually knew when Muttaji's birthday was, but Ajji had always celebrated it on the Makar Sankranti holiday. "Amma, will there be a cake?" asked Putti. "A big spongy cake with pink icing and a rose on top?" "Nah," said Putta. "Old people don't have birthday cakes, and 200 candles won't fit on any cake." Muttaji is not two hundred years old, silly," said Putti. "How old is Muttaji, Amma?" Amma smiled. "Why don't you ask her when we get there?" The moment they reached the old green house in Mysore, the twins burst into Muttaji's room. "Happy birthday, Muttaji! How old are you today?" Muttaji hugged the twins. "How old am I?" Who knows? How does it matter? But it does," cried Putta and Putti together. Mutta Ji smiled. "Well," she said, "I know that around five years before I was born, our Maharaja went to a grand party for Indian Maharajas and Maharani's in Delhi. A British king and queen had come to visit." and our maharaja got a gold medal ooh a party there must have been lots of cake said putti who was this king mutta ji if you know we can find out which year he visited and if we add 5 years to that we will know when you were born mutta ji shrugged i have forgotten putta putta's face fell wait said mutta ji let me see if i can remember something else uh aha uh-huh. when i was about your age 9 uh, or 10 my uncle from bombay visited us and told us about clean trains clean trains yes mutta ji was excited they had started running in bombay that year you never got dirty travelling in them no black dust on your clothes and face no grime nothing the twin stared at her why would anyone get dirty traveling by train uh, some years later continued mutta ji i got married the law was that a girl should be at least 15 before she was married and my father would never break the law so i must have been 16 then Very soon after my marriage your muttaja got a job in Bombay and we left Mysore Did anything important happen the year you got married muttaji asked putta uh, Yes said muttaji sadly our maharaja inaugurated our big dam and the beautiful gardens next to it during the dasara festival that year but i missed it I was in Bombay a big dam putta sat up is it still there mutta ji hooted with laughter <laughs> of course rock solid too it was the dam that tamed the kaveri no more floods in the monsoon and enough water for the fields in the summer ajji put her head around the door 
आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट के आर एस अम्मा के आर एस मुताजी सेट लुकिंग फॉन्डली एट अज्जी यूर अज्जी वॉज माई फिफ्थ चाइल्ड द यंगेस्ट बट ऑलवेज द स्मार्टेस्ट डू यू नो ट्वींस माई चिल्ड्रन केम लाइक क्लॉक वर्क वन एवरी टू मानसून द डे यूर अज्जी डिसाइडेड टू कम आउट यूर मुताजा कुड नॉट बी फाउंड लेटर he told us that he had gone to see gandhi ji give a speech at the gowalia tank maidan he was so excited quit india he kept shouting the whole day <laughs> silly man disturbing the baby quit india putti's eyes grew round with excitement we studied it in history putta the movement started in 1942 that means 1942 was the year that ajji was born pouched putta not mutta ji that's a start said putti which year were you born ajji i will be 74 this year said ajji so i was born in putti quickly did the calculations 2000 is 16 17 minus 74 is 1942 she said Ajji nodded. Now Ajji is Muttaji's fifth child, and all her kids were two years apart," said Putta. So, if Ajji was born in 1942, Muttaji's fourth child was born in 1942 minus two, that is 1940. The third in 1940 minus two, that is 1938. The second in 1938 minus 2, 1936, and the first in 1936 minus 2, that is 1934. So Mutta Ji was married in 1932, cried Putti. Not necessarily, said Putta. Mutta Ji didn't say her first child was born two years after her marriage. So she only said a dam was built in Mysore the year she got married. Maybe this will help twins, said Ajji. bringing in bowls of vermicelli payasam muttaji's favorite sweet dish krs is the krishna raj sagar dam the brindavan gardens are the gardens attached to it we went there last year to see the musical fountains remember the twins nodded mm said putti your payasam is the best ajji when was the krs built do you know ajji ajji shook her head I'm not sure but you can go with Ajja to the central library after lunch and find out there in the library Putti found a book on the history of Mysore here it is she whispered two of Mysore's most visited tourist spots the KRS dam and the adjacent Brindavan gardens were open to the public in 1932 the twins green <laughs> that went mutta ji had indeed married in 1932 that is 84 years ago mutta ji thinks she was 16 when she got married said putti but she could have been 15 or 16 or 17 or 18 she also said she was about 9 or 10 when her bombay uncle told her about the clean train said putta ajja may know what that means Ajja was in the reading room. Ajja whispered Putti, "In the olden days, did people get dirty traveling by train?" Ajja nodded. There were steam engines then, which ran on coal, not electricity. He said, "Black coal dust used to fly out of the chimney and land on everyone and everything. Terrible." That's it, Putti. He said, "Putta." electric trains were the clean trains he pulled out a book on the indian railways it says here he pointed that india's first electric train came to bombay in 1925 and mutta ji says she was about 9 then said putta if she is right then mutta ji was born in 1916 but she could be wrong you know frown putti only one way to make sure said putta we have to find out if that big 
party for kings and queens in Delhi, which Muttaji said happened five years before she was born, happened in 1911. They ran back to Ajja. Ajja, was there a grand party for a foreign king who visited India around 1911? Mm, Ajja frowned. 1911. Why is that date so familiar? Ah, yes. It was the year the gateway of India was built in Bombay. And yes, it was built to welcome the British Emperor of India, George V. There must have been several grand parties, not one. Ajja tapped his forehead, looking very pleased with himself. Not bad for an old brain. Hmm. Not bad at all, cried the twins. Thanks, Ajja. Now they knew exactly how old Muttaji was. Five minutes later, the twins were racing homewards. Muttaji, they panted, rushing straight to her room. Did the Mysore Maharaja get his gold medal from King George V? Ah, Muttaji said happily. That's it. George, what clever children you are. That means, Muttaji, that you were born in 1916. You are exactly 100 years old today. That's great detective work, twins, smiled Amma. I think you and Muttaji deserve a special treat. A big spongy one with pink icing and a rose on top. Hooray! cheered the twins. The Grand Maharaja and Maharani Party and other fun stuff from Indian history. Remember all the important historical events Muttaji talked about in the story? They all really happened. Here is a little more information about them. The Grand Maharaja Maharani Party, 1911, when the British Emperor George V and his wife Queen Mary visited India for the first time, they hosted a grand party for over 400 Indian kings and queens. It was called the Delhi Darbar. To feed 2 lakh guests, bakeries put out 20,000 loaves of bread a day and over 1,000 cattle and sheep were slaughtered for every meal. Many Indian rulers received gold medals from the emperor, including the Maharaja of Mysore, Krishnaraj Vodiyar IV. The Clean Trains, 1925. On Feb 3, 1925, India's first electric train left Bombay's Victoria Terminus for Kurla Station. With that, India became the third country in Asia and only the 24th in the world to introduce railway electrification. The Victoria Terminus Station is nowadays known as Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus Station. The dam that tamed the Kaveri, 1932. The Kaveri River runs through southern Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. The river was always a blessing, keeping Mysore fertile. But like every other river, it used to flood in the monsoons and run dry in the summer. All that changed when a dam was built across the river and the Krishna Raj Sagar Reservoir created. The reservoir still provides most of the drinking water for Bangalore city. This Krishna Raj Sagar Dam was planned and built by Divan and Chief Engineer Sir M. Vishweshwaraya of Mysore. Then the next event is Gandhiji's Big Speech, 1942. The Quit India speech was a speech made by Gandhiji on 8th August, 1942 at the Gavalia Tank Maidan in Bombay. Gandhiji asked people to fight against British rule not by using violence but by disobeying their laws. Five years later, on, on August 15, 1947, the non-violent war got the results Gandhiji wanted. The British left and India became independent. Today, the Gavalia Tank Maidan is called the August Kranti Maidan in memory of that peaceful revolution. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.boxdadspeak.com Eruwaui! Eruwaui!